Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I hope that you're having a really great day. I wanted to share with you my morning devotional verse. It's really awesome. Psalm 65 11 says you crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. I love that even though we think that we might be in a place where um, good things can't happen. Sometimes the enemy likes to paint us into a corner and make us think that God doesn't love us or that he's not going to come through for us. But God promises that even in the hardest places, he will provide. And not just provide, there will be an abundance of his provision. So if you're there, keep praying, keep singing, keep telling God thank you, keep saying, Lord, I know you're coming. The enemy can't stop you. The enemy is so afraid of us discovering who we are and believing what God says that he will do anything he can do to help us, to, to force us to not believe in God, to trick us, to make us think that what we see is the truth. And it may look like we are surrounded by this giant army of pain and just lack, but it's a lie. God says that even the hard pathways overflow with his abundance. And it says that he is crowning the year with goodness. So no matter, no matter what happened between January and September, this is October. God promises that the next three months are going to be blessed. And that something amazing is going to happen for us. Breakthrough. Restoration of marriages. Families. Hope. You're going to get into the school that you've been trying to get into. You're going to get the job you've been looking for. Because God says that he makes even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Something is going to happen that is going to make a breakthrough for you because God is faithful. God never lies. And he always keeps his promises. I love you all so very much. Remember to be kind. Remember who you are and whose you are. That even in these dark places or in these dark times, we will continue to be who we are because we are God's children. We love, we share what we have, and we pray for those who are in need. And we help, we don't just pray for them, we help them. We do something if we can do something. We are the hands and feet of God. The verse says, this verse says that, um, when you give a glass of water to a stranger, Jesus says you've given it to him. If you feed a stranger, you've given it, you've fed him. It is time that Christ's church stands up and starts being who they were meant to be. Loving, kind, generous people who give and don't expect anything in return. Because God loves us and he doesn't expect anything in return from us. He loves us. He's crazy about us. I love you so very much. Remember today to lend hope. Be kind. You never know what private battle someone's going through. This year, God is crowning it with goodness. Ask God to open your eyes to see the good things that he's doing. I love you all so very much. I am going to go lay down now and take some medicine. But even in this pain, I got to share something with you, something wonderful, good, and kind, and true. I love you. I pray that you have a wonderful evening with your family, and I will talk to you tomorrow. God bless. Good night.